Dollars to fix the city's disaster plague back river waste water treatment plant is resigning, leaving the plant in shambles and leaving high levels of pollution just seeping into our waterways. Joining us now, founder of openbooks.com, Adam Angievsky. Adam, thank you so much for uh, un, uh, discovering this. We're talking about a billion dollars, and yet, what is the, I guess, what improvement has happened to the plant? Well, not enough, of course. This plant, this Black River wastewater treatment plant is responsible for massive pollution, including the E. coli outbreak in West Baltimore. Obviously, last week there was a massive explosion that put at risk the processing of 70% of sludge, serving 1.8 million people, not only in the Baltimore city, but in surrounding counties. And Tom, this is after an allocation of $1 billion to upgrade the physical infrastructure of the facility. Now, we know the director, though, has been there for almost four years, but was moved from one position up into this position. He's resigning now. Do you give any real reason why he's resigning? So we didn't see the reason, but obviously, I mean, there's catastrophic problems. The mm -hmm. state has said that leadership just doesn't understand the gravity of the matter. The state has stepped in and they've said that uh, there's been two failures at this plant. One has been unqualified employees running it, and the other one has been uh, a lack of maintenance of the facility. That falls right on leadership. So, look, the uh, that director of waste and wastewater was making a healthy salary, $167,000 a year. The head of the Department of Public Works, he says he's moving on as well, Jason Mitchell. He makes a lot of money. He's one of the most highly compensated city employees. He makes $245,000 a year in cash compensation. Tom, that's $20,000 plus per month, plus the cost of benefits. Why at the Department of Public Works are we having these catastrophic problems with these highly compensated employees? Yeah, and now uh, we're hearing also, Adam, that Mitchell is saying, well, you know what, maybe I'm going to not resign right now. He's been rethinking that, so that's still up in the air, too. But when you think about this, going back to the billion dollars to go in and improve this, you go, you have to go in now and say, okay, okay where did the billion dollars go? Has it all been spent? And then is this going to cost taxpayers to actually more money to come in and fix what is not fixed? Well, it seems like it always costs taxpayers in the city of Baltimore more money. Uh, for example, you know, just last month, right here on Fox 45, I detailed the fact that over the course of the last 10 years, the payroll cost of the Department of Public Works in the city has ballooned three times faster than inflation, but the head counts of the employees are lower than what they were 10 years ago, yet there are more highly compensated employees, the bosses at the department, and fewer workers. So there's been a misallocation of resources at the Department of Public Works for a long period of time. Adam Andrzejewski, founder of OpenTheBooks.com, thank you. Thank you.